Celtics fans, we're always going to have you covered with Celtics news and rumors. So if you are all about the Boston Celtics, hit that subscribe button below this video. Happy Friday, Celtics fans. I am Will Scott. You are watching Boston Celtics today by Chat Sports. And on today's show, we're going to talk about a player that maybe the Celtics will look to spend their final roster spot on. Now, the March 1st buyout deadline has obviously passed. So that means that if a player is on a team right now and they get released and the Celtics pick them up, then they cannot play in the playoffs. So if they did not get bought out before March 1st, they're not eligible to play in the playoffs. Or if they're a free agent, perhaps, maybe the Celtics can sign them. And if they have not been with another team this year, uh, then they are eligible to play in the playoffs. And a guy... Uh, that has yet to play uh, so far this season for a team and would be eligible to play in the playoffs is Carmelo Anthony. Should they spend their final roster spot on a future Hall of Famer who has not retired, who is still out there and available in free agency? Here's what Inside the Celtics said about maybe signing Carmelo Anthony. One option is bring in Carmelo Anthony. He's open to a role like Griffin, given Carmelo's relationships with Chris Paul and Kevin Durant, Boston might have to compete with the Suns to sign him. There are other options for veteran leaders, including Joe Johnson, who the Celtics, including stars Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, valued having around in Johnson's short time with Boston last season. We'll talk about Johnson a little bit later on in today's show, but I do really like the idea of signing Carmelo Anthony having the Celtics' final roster spot uh, be used on him. Last season in Los Angeles with the Lakers, he put up pretty solid numbers. A 13.3-point-per-game uh, mark, one assist per game, 4.2 rebounds per game, and he's a pretty good three-point shooter, at least he was last year with the Lake Show, a 37.5% from three. Taking a look at his career path here was the third overall pick, in the 2003 NBA draft out of Syracuse, won a championship with Syracuse. All the people saying he doesn't have a ring. Well, he does have a, a collegiate ring, at least with the Orangemen. And then was a 10-time All-Star. Uh, has been 10-time All-Star. His last All-Star appearance, though, was in 2017. Spent his first eight seasons with the Denver Nuggets and then was uh, sent to the Knicks, where he played from 2011 to 2017. And then ever since he left New York, I mean, it's just kind of uh, been, you know, he's been hopping around somewhat, spent one season with the Thunder, spent one season with the Rockets, just playing about 10 games with Houston, actually. A lot of people thought he was done then. Then went to Portland, kind of revitalized his career, two seasons in Portland, uh, then spent last season with the Lakers, but has yet to find a, find a home for this season. And I think he is perfect for the Celtics' final roster spot. I don't think he's going to be looking uh, to contribute in a huge way. I just think that he wants to be on a team. I think he wants to have an opportunity to compete for a championship. When we look at Boston, they have one last roster spot, and they also need some wing depth. You can put him at the three, put him at the four, bring him off the bench in a limited bench role, kind of similar to Blake Griffin's and have him contribute on a potential tile team in Boston. Carmelo has yet to win an NBA championship. He wants a ring. I think the Celtics uh, would make a lot of sense for Melo, and I think Melo, quite frankly, makes a lot of sense for the Celtics. They're somewhat limited right now on what they could do with that final roster spot. We did hear Brad Stevens uh, say before the NBA trade deadline, and even after the NBA trade deadline, uh, that the Celtics plan on using their final roster spot. It's not going to be vacant uh, when you get into the playoffs, and I just think Carmelo Anthony uh, makes a lot of sense for the Celtics team. I'm not saying sign him and have him play 15, 20 minutes a game, but you never know which injuries are going to come up. Uh, he might have to get involved down the stretch, but you definitely need a little bit more wing depth. Either way, I do think the Celtics should use that final roster spot on a wing player. And Carmelo Anthony certainly uh, fits a kind of what they might be looking for, a veteran uh, who can provide some depth at the wing and might be looking to win a championship. Should the Celtics sign Carmelo Anthony? 
Type S for sign or type P for pass down in the comment section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. Uh, so reply to it when you get a second. Type S for sign or type P for pass. Uh, Joe Johnson inside the Celtics mentioned uh, maybe him. Uh, so did fan sided. Uh, Joe Johnson is now 41 years old, though, so I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense uh, for Boston to bring him in. Of course, there is some familiarity there because he did play briefly with the Celtics last season. We'll talk more about him in a second. First, I want to tell you about our friends over at BetUS and this great deal they are giving you. If you go to chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code chat125, you are going to pick up a 125% deposit bonus. That means if you put $100 into your account, you're going to start with $225 in your account. It is a great deal. Go and take advantage of it. And you can go bet on the C's to win it all at plus 325. Uh, they were plus 280 going into the All-Star break. Now they're plus 325. The Suns at plus 425. The Bucks at plus 500. Denver at plus 750 and the Clippers at plus 1,100. So I really like the value there. I do believe the Celtics are going to all. Hopefully you feel the same way. And if you feel the same as I do, go and bet on the Celtics to win it all, plus 325. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125 over at BetUS. Going back to Joe Johnson, he signed a 10-day contract with the Celtics last season, so spent about two weeks with the team. Uh, and he only played in one game. But uh, you did hear inside the Celtics mention that Tatum and Brown kind of enjoyed having him around, but signing him right now when he's 41 years old, you have one roster spot left when you can go out and maybe sign a Carmelo Anthony instead. I just don't think that makes a whole lot of sense. But what do you think? Should the Celtics sign a Joe Johnson, a seven-time All-Star? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comment section. I'm typing in for no, but uh, there's obviously some familiarity there, and if Johnson were to get signed, he'd probably be playing maybe two or three minutes a game, would not get that involved. Uh, so we'll see what Brad Stevens thinks there. I just think there's better options out there, and we'll talk about in a future show maybe some free agent options for the Celtics. Here are some of those notable free agent options. Of course, Carmelo Anthony, uh, Wancho Hernan Gomez, Bo Cruz is still out there and available. Uh, he got waived the other day. Uh, Jabari Parker, of course, who played for the Celtics briefly. Kent Bazemore and Avery Bradley all still out there and available in free agency. I think all five of those names make a lot more sense than Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson obviously played for the Nets and the Celtics, and those two teams are squaring off tonight at TD Garden. Brooklyn is really struggling coming into this game. Uh, they've lost a couple in a row. A lot of those have been blowouts. Meanwhile, the Celtics coming off that big win, a much-needed win against Cleveland. They respond after a poor showing at Madison Square Garden, and now they're facing a Brooklyn team that's been struggling since the trade deadline. They're 34-28. and 28. The Celtics 45-18. and 18. Who do you got tonight? Do you have the Celtics or do you have the Nets? Type BOS or type BKN down in the comments section. I think a lot of us are going to be typing BOS. Uh, the Nets at this point are not much of a threat to Boston after uh, giving up Kyrie and KD at the trade deadline. The Celtics make a move on Carmelo, on Joe Johnson, on anybody. We're going to get you guys a video. So subscribe to the channel by hitting that subscribe button below and also turning on your notifications. Thank you.